if we could talk a little bit about salaries now and benefits, um, I, I we, we we touched on an earlier increased demand means salaries go up, but what are the uh, what are the typical changes that you've seen in salaries within DevOps and, and cybersecurity over the last eighteen months? And, so, and and is salary still the major factor? Yeah, well, okay, so it's kind of a two part question, but the first to the first aspect of it, the salaries they have naturally increased. Uh, the candidates now have a lot more power and what they can, what they're entitled to and what they can ask for. Um, you know, when when they're moving role, say, look, why would I why would I move role? I need to be incentivized. Um, but again, as I said, the main and first question I get from all employees, from all candidates, is what is their worker from home policy when they do return to work? Um, is there that flexibility? You know, because even if a company and even if a candidate isn't going to be planning on utilizing that work from home, they'd want to see that a company is willing to do it because yeah. it gives them an impression of, you know, are they going to be micromanaged when they're in the role? Do, does the employer actually trust me um, when I'm in the position to do the work? Um, so, yeah, again, the, the natural inflation of the salaries, the priority is work from home, but obviously then uh, the salary as well. Typical benefits that are that we're now seeing in the market. Obviously, it does depend on what industry, what company you're in, uh, whether it's a startup, whether it's a, a major tech company. I'm seeing a lot more of um, you know bonuses being integrated into packages. Um, whether it's again, if it's a, if it's a startup, having that share options. Yep. Uh, obviously, match pension, seeing some some great match pensions up to 10%, 12%. You're also seeing health insurance, but not just for the person, for all their dependents as well, dental, and all those type of uh, all those type of benefits. So the one thing I've noticed as well is sign-on bonuses becoming more prevalent. Yep. Um, to, to to get that to get that over that last hurdle, yep. uh, to get someone online. Um. Is is there a huge difference, do you think, still between salaries in Dublin and regionally? I suppose that it's it the disparity is definitely minimizing because mm. companies in remote areas are being forced to adapt. Yeah. Obviously, formerly there was the situation where if you lived in, you know, Kilorglin and Kerry, for instance, a remote area, the people who are based there have to work for a role. Or work for a company that's locally based, and obviously their salary is indicative of the living costs, rent, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But now there's a case where somebody could be based in in a remote area, work for a major Dublin tech company, and get the salaries that they're paying, but live in that low cost area. So yeah. in order for those companies in those remote areas to compete with those Dublin based organisations. They have to minimise the the disparity in, in in salary, and to or else they're going to, they're going they're going to have no chance of of uh, attracting the top talent. That makes perfect sense.